guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's video, some great swords, uh, Rage of the Sea. Um, this is pretty good, man. Um, not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun playing it, and it I, I really like the change to great swords. Um, it makes them hard to kill, but it doesn't put them to the ceiling to where if you don't have like a Morkvarg or a Yurden, you can't ever get rid of them, you know. Um, I really like them. I think they're pretty cool. Um, list will be in the deck deck list comments. Uh, you know, you guys have been fantastic, man. Just thank you guys so much. Um, you're just great, man. This this first game, though, I'm gonna say, wow. If you want to talk about the immovable object versus the unstoppable force, man, this is it. This first game was crazy. Um, I think I played it really, really well. I'm not sure if my opponent maybe at the end made a goof, but um, I think I played this one really well. My uh, my ego got a little bit bigger today for this one, so thank you guys for everything. I'll see you at the end. Ooh, Shiru friends. Don't make me laugh. The hard counter. All right. If we can get the great swords up, we might be okay though. Um. Proactive, proactive. I don't think we want Yalmar this round. Double great sword. We want a boat. Or like a... Maybe we drop one of these. It's gonna be rough. Um... I guess we just go here for right now. Did you die already? Or need I kill you again? Precision strike's always going to be a rough time. So he's, he wants to go double vitality. We just take the bleed now. We'll greet him, we will. That's fire and iron. I think next we get the Berserker down. We could get one of the great swords down. Drops to five, goes to six. But do we want to save those for the last round? Can we afford to save them for the last round? This hits for two. I don't know about this hand and pushing. So we get one ping here. Off three heads goes to six. Blow. Does he kill it? He probably kills it. Maybe he still does damage to it. If he's, I mean, if he's playing this, he's playing like circle and stuff, right? I stand. So he gets the double boost. <sighs> Got a hearty hankering for But he wait. saves the charge. That's one. 
so next he goes with the question is does he have the full sentinel package so far he's still devotion So this is going to flip. He has two pings. He pings there. He goes circle. Yep. So now he's up. We could pass here, though. We go up two. 19. Does he want a tie? Will he take a tie? Probably not. But I don't think I want to play any of these. These are all gold cards. Because this does the damage and flips. So he goes to 17. I gain 2 and go to 19. I think we get out. Yeah, he only gains 1. He's got this Thrive unit. We're just giving him carryover. He plays a Rebuke. We're going to get nuked by Shiru. I mean, it's it's inevitable. Is it, I, The question is, is can we keep the greatsword up? The boat's good. I don't know about this. Well, we always get this, though. So we can res our... Great sword. What else is in the deck? Oh, we still have Morkvard, Raiding Fleet. I think we dropped the Stunning Blow. Alright, Morkvark's good. So he's going to try and hit for probably fives. He always has it. At least his ones maybe won't proc if he's playing the symbiosis package. This can be annoying for him, though, if he doesn't have the second rebuke. Although he always has it with uh, Protector, and he has... Um, what's her name? Off. Really? So he just goes into uh wind whistles will those work? So he goes to six, seven, eight. We get one of we get one of these in the graveyard. Or do we, we already have one. Alright. So what do we... He's, he's gonna pass. So we get a Blood Eagle no matter what. He goes up to five. We could just play the six. Look closely, kiddos. I'm Seems like fair. Mother. I don't think he bleeds anymore. Yeah, I don't think he bleeds anymore. He does. Okay. So he just believes in the Shiru. So he goes Triss into Rebuke or Circle for the rando damage. Double Caress. Because he wants the Shiru. Because he wants the Shiru. We play this.
he does it automatically. Boat's not going to be good in the long round anyways. Just play this. I mean, if he wants to play the Shearer this early, I'm okay with it. He hits this for a circle. If he wants to go fours. So he has counsel in hand. We know that. Just passes, okay. Do we take the skewer at all? If he's got pings to set up more stuff? Do we want to get another great sword out? I don't think it gets us there anyways. Yeah, I will not bend my neck for that trip up. Alright. Alright. So he has Shiru. He's got protector. He lost his fog. Do we want more damage? This seems fine. We can't leave. I, I honestly, I think we just saved the cripple for last say. We just it just plays too hard in the Shiru. Women, children, elders, we spare none. He has Gord. Gord's not that big though. One, two, three, four, five. So it's an eight right now. Abandoned girl. Uh, so we kill that. Grab up our invader. Resist the Yah's will, and that's how we'll end you. Yeah, I don't think we. I think too. We leave the totem alone. What are we? We just go Vabjorn into stunning blow. Pings are going to be a problem. He just takes it right now. Oh, we didn't get the death blow. Are corpses? Nay, feed our foes to the crabs while they still live. He pings here for a five. Then we play our boat. Yeah, he's going to light us up pretty good. This symbiosis is going to hurt a little bit, though. If he stacks... Well, he never stacks, right? Because he just knows our abilities reign. Dryad's Caress. So he's going for fives. Okay, 
he's, he's going for fives. So this gets to seven. We go here. So he, he gets it here. This still stays up, though. He plays Rebuke on it. Yeah, these points are like an illusion. Because we're basically losing these here. So he goes circle on the greatsword. What do we play here that doesn't play into super tall? So he gets three pings. We just play the boat now. This goes up to seven, so he gets it no matter what. Plays into it perfectly. But the boat's losing value. Yeah, the boat's losing value. Unfortunately, this totem's gonna get nuked. Oh, he plays it now. Okay. So that goes up to an eight. That's all right. So we play it. What do we play? We play it up here because these are going to die anyways. I think we leave the, the rain alone for right now. So he goes one ping, two pings, three. That goes to six. Seven, eight. Play the rain. So we got a ten. He goes Dunka. The only good dwarf is a dead dwarf. We leave these alone. We hit the Forest Protector. Drops it to a four. This plays into it more. This plays into it. This, I think this plays into it the hardest. So it hit in mind he has to unline that up. Yeah, he's gonna get a big Shiru. Oh, he has a boar. So he just wants to all out nuke my sh stuff. So he's he's going to achieve this.
So we just hit this. Brings this back up. You still keep the fours. So we go here. So it goes up to 10. So we're going to lose all the fives. Unless he saves the Shiru for last say. He's going to lose a five, though, too. So he goes Heat Wave on the 10. So he gets everything. All right. So we go here. Oh, man. This is going to be brutal. He might nuke the whole board. We go here. Here's the better loot than in your wildest, wettest dreams. We just play this. It plays for the most points. This just plays into it automatically. One, two, three. We go here. Hit this. We hit this because it doesn't heal, right? Does he have a, this, is this Shiru here? One, two, three. So it's council, but does he have enough pings? I guess he just kills one of these. One, two, three. Does he have enough points? I'm gonna have six. Oh, he gets that one point. And then it depends on if he has all the... So we keep... We keep... Well, we lose this. Wait. Why ping there? I don't think he got there. <laughs> oh my god! I think he did that wrong. I think him saving his own unit was incorrect. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a game. What an absolute banger of a game. <laughs> that was great, man. That was great. Let's try one more. Alright. Ooh. A board friend. Pride is all we've left. Alright. We're on the good coin. Let's see what uh We only got one more boat, so we gotta be careful of that. First let's drop this clan. Is what's his name? Brick? Oh, he got a stunning blow. It's time to wake up again. I guess we can keep this. Maybe we drop a stunning blow. Really? Boy, I wish I had that stunning blow. I guess we could always mark bark that, but boy, do I want to mark bark that. Do I want to bleed that? Let's just get the boat down first. Maybe we can get a... Double Bloodthirst. Well, we never kill it, though, because it goes super, super tall. Oh, God. 
So we could slap the bleed on this, get the other boat out. Kind of nullifies it for right now. And he's losing two a turn. If he's a carryover friend. I could possibly get this warrior online. Not drawing any great swords kind of hurts. So he TAs that. Uh -oh. So we just play this. We'll greet a brother, but fire and iron. He didn't use the charge. So I have two stunning blows. Can't use them just yet. He's going to put armor on this next. I think we just go invader. Look closely, kiddos. I'm thy courageous mother. Okay, so that worked. He wanted to get this or this. So we're still hitting two a turn. That's pretty good. Can dwarves fight? Ha, the fish passing leaks. Um, so we have the bloodthirst. Did we just play this? He loses five. How do we get there? Let's just play it. He drops to... 15, he loses one, 14, no, he gains, no, he just loses one, so we just need 10, he might pass here, I don't think he ever passes though, so it goes justice, The question is, is he a carryover friend? Man, if I had wild boar, I'd be set. Oh, I've got a hearty hankering wait. Not a warrior friend. 19 points. I could pull him, though. Do I want to pull Hemdall now? He's not going to have a whole lot of units next turn. I guess we could play Bob Jorn. Into a stunning blow. Kills that. Are we up now? Right. Come on! Who's back? Blood for small blood!
that doesn't do anything. He's running into dangerous territory here, though. Man, these boats put in so much work. Alright, we'll take it. So he gains... If we play this... He gains one more. He drops down to 22. We have 23. Oof. So I have to play this. And play one of these. Maybe, maybe we didn't have to. I, I don't know why. I thought he gained more points there. I think last say on a gourd's gonna be fine. We got great swords. I guess we could drop the invader. That's not bad. We still just pass. We still got totem. We still got Hjalmar. Unfortunately, we didn't. Well, we got thing in the graveyard. I think last save with uh, Morkvark is going to be fine. He might have to play something good here. I mean, they had they run a lot of specials. And he played a lot of his units. He played both Marauders. Oh, he had to use his own arrow. So if he doesn't have Gord... Like a pimp fate if it passing day. Alright. That's good. That's good. That's good. I think we dropped the girl. And we stop here. This is fine. There's nothing else we want to run, right? Yalmar would be nice. Oh, we get him with uh, the thing, so we're good. That's fine. So he goes back row. Uninteractive friend. That sucks I can't play this guy then. It plays for nine. Do I wait a turn? Just play the totem? Sounds fine. Maybe he runs rebukes. But then our great swords are okay. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. We lose two points if we play this. But we're losing points the longer we wait. Open Adam, you lazy bastard! You'll sleep when you're dead. Resist the Yah's will, and that's how we'll end you. He plays the second rebuke. Darn it. This is super awkward. Let me go Berserker what now. Three hours in the a pinprick! That's what! It's a synthesis. Alright, so we play... Wow, he is just totally non-interactive. So he stacks next turn, so we can leave this go. We flip we this. Children, just elders. in case. These aren't row locked, so.
Oh my goodness, is he Agalus? What is this deck? Like, it, and it's gonna, it's gonna smurf me, right? He's gonna play another artifact. Oh my goodness! All right, so we go here. <laughs> is it Agalus? It's Gord, right? And no matter what, I nuke it. Okay, finally. I, I we can't even damage this though. So we go here, it doesn't do anything. Two turns, so we just play it twice. I guess we could What do we pull? We can't even really... I guess we just pulled a six. We don't want to banish this. It heals up our dudes. Is there anything that's... No. I guess we take the raider. Corpses. Boy, if I lose this, is there any any way I lose this? Like, is there any way? These heal up to the full ten. Okay. Isengrim's counseling to Agalus. It was Agalus. So what's he gonna get it to? Drink this, you'll feel better. Hits the like 45, 50, 50 even. Oof. No Agalus from Yeesh. I had a feeling it was something thing, but Morkvarg was always gonna shoot that down instantly. Hey, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, meta report soon, TM. Um, so get ready to uh, fire off some fun decks. Um, I think uh, they put out a play rate for last season. And uh, there were some surprises on there. So I guess there's no hotfix coming either. So... Shield wall will stay as is for the rest of the season, so you gotta adapt, I guess. But uh, thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you next time. Oh.